From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, this is ABC Action News. Hello, I'm Julie Salamone. Jason has Florida's most accurate forecast in just a moment. But first, here are your ABC Action News Now headlines. The 2022 Ashley Children's Gasparilla Parade presented by Chick-fil-A has returned. The parade is celebrating its 75th anniversary. It's back after being canceled last year because of the pandemic. Thousands of people lined up Bayshore Boulevard to enjoy the parade. Tampa police are making sure people stayed safe at the parade. They gave us an update from the real time crime center. Today we have um, tactical dispatchers working this event, which is basically your SWAT team of dispatchers. Um, it's kind of a privilege to have them in here. They're um, more trained for the higher events. The same setup will be used for next Saturday during the main parade. Mayor Jane Castor attended the parade. We caught up with her. She says she is excited to see the parade return. And this is our signature event, and uh, we have all been, as a community, have been through almost two years of uh, the pandemic. And so to be out, able to come out and safely gather again together uh, for our signature event is, is quite exciting. The mayor is now looking forward to next week's parade. Now let's bring in meteorologist Jason Adams. Jason? Happy to see that the weather for the most part participated. Yeah, we would have loved to see the sunshine and warmer temperatures, but at least we weren't socked in with rain or strong thunderstorms like we had last weekend, right? That system finally out of here. Sunshine returns for your Sunday. Temperatures, though, staying put. Only into the upper 50s and lower 60s. We average low 70s this time of year, so there won't be any weather issues for those of you tailgating or attending the football game with the Rams in town taking on our Bucks. Game time temperature at kick off at 3 p.m. sitting right around 60 to 61 with partly cloudy skies. But heads up, there is now a freeze watch in effect for areas from inland Hernando or inland Pasco counties north through Citrus and Hernando counties where there is the potential for temperatures to fall as low as 29 degrees when you wake up. Monday morning, so get ready for it. We could even have frost concerns here for our inland spots east of I-75. Coastal temperatures chilly, but well above the freeze concerns here into the lower 40s as we start the work week Monday.